You know, I so far and and so much lament that the uh, most brilliant people I know with um, with higher degrees in particularly MBA programs are also people I know because they're the named plaintiffs in civil rights actions to get access to their textbooks, to get access to the curriculum, to have accommodations in school. What we need to do is flip on its ear that if we want to build an inclusive economy and inclusive finance, that we have more people with disabilities at the table in investment firms, making on investment committees, not only that, but on corporate boards in the C-suite of companies, making decisions at every level of the company about where disability should live in that company. I didn't mention this and I was remiss, but companies that have disability representation at every level have 30% higher profit margins. Uh, there is a real material benefit to disability and there's a real material risk to companies and those in the economy that are not um, uh, assessing, you know, doing a risk calculus about whether disability is present um, and uh, in leadership and throughout the life of a company. Uh, when we look at uh, the state of uh, MBA programs around the country, we need more students who are going to be our next leaders in impact and in closing the disability wealth gap in particular. Uh, and we need uh, more access to higher education, not just as a matter of basic participation and, and basic legal compliance and accommodation, but we need a curriculum and an evaluation of this market um, and about the market opportunity where we can really understand and create the next generation of talent that will bring, bring their lived experiences uh, to the investment committee, bring their lived experiences to uh, investment firms. And I think that's a real opportunity for the economy.